save the queen and welcome back to another episode of Victoria to Heart of Darkness a Canadian Let's Play or Oh Canada So we're back here in our let's play of this awesomeness and as you guys know um we had to sadly raise taxes last time but it seems like people still like us much more than the Americans so you know what? I'm gonna take that as a sign that people really like our tax system because no one's really complaining, and I just got a lot of taxes from that, so, you know, I'll actually raise, I'll actually lower the taxes now that we have a little bit more of a surplus. And, actually, in this Let's Play, I'm surprised. We actually have a couple of, um, middle class men actually gaining some of the national goods, so, you know. Somehow, I think in this Let's Play, we are much more better off than the French. That's probably because we don't have as many rebellions, and... You know, we kind of we kind of stem from one of the greatest nations ever. So what do we need in this right now? We do not need railroads. I don't consider railroads that important right now. What we need is something that's going to help us out in the future when we try to go take on um, a lot of things. This might actually help us out just because we might need some more factory input. Um, hmm. What do we need? Factory cost. You know... This might be good if we get assembly line, because assembly line will help us out in the long run. And that's what we kind of need, is that we need to kind of do more economics and... Yeah, it seems like our economy is still pretty dang stable, even though we do... Um, we switched over, and... As we know, uh, oil pumping, major discovery, that's pretty good. I'm glad oil... Um, as somebody mentioned earlier, oil is going to be in Alaska, so... Um, or Alaska was definitely a good buy for me. Or, I'll say I purchased it from the Russians and not purposely destroyed the land to get it. That's how we're going to say this, boy. And, as I was saying, in our infrastructure, we're still building the uh, tra our first Canadian transcontinental railroad. I'm going to be so happy when we build that. That is going to be one of my, you know, uh, really, really great things to show off and be like, Oh, cool, 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 cool. And, oh, you guys... I'm gonna just push this through, and then you know what I'm gonna do? Boom! Okay, next time, guys, don't build a stupid continental railroad. And, um, you know, I should be improving my other vassals, like, healthcare and stuff, but I really don't have the money to, so I'm just gonna leave that to other things. So, yeah, um, we're just kind of chilling out here, and I've kind of noticed that our relationships with America are kind of getting a little bit stemmy. So, what we're gonna do is go on a major campaign with the UK, too. And just try to try to make them like us again, because we definitely don't want them to hate us. If they hate us, we will die. Like, legitly, we will not survive. And apparently, Belgium's also going to drop... No, they're going to stay in great power in this, sorry. I thought they were going to drop. And can I form an alliance with you, Austria? Oh, I can. Do I want Austria as an alliance, though? That's a question. Do I want them as an alliance? Would they help me at all? Well... They hate me because of my infamy, but they're the only people that have ever asked me to go on alliance. Oh, wait, wait, that means, that means Russia kind of dropped from great alliance power. Can I use them? Can I start influencing Russia? Yes, I can, and it actually does help. Okay, so Russia will be our main priority, and they actually might drop back into great powerness, but um, we only need 1% there, there, that's good. We can, we can actually start influencing these guys a little bit. Let's start prioritizing. What? Our base influence is 0.93. Nation is on another continent. Relations. Our nations. Our other national investors. Population. How is our population? Total score of nations. Are... So, uh, even if I try to... Yeah, even if I try to do anything with Russia, I can never gain anything from them. That's kind of stupid. That's really kind of stupid. So, apparently I can't get anything from Russia. And we finally got a new national focus. Which, what we will be doing is, um, over here in Vancouver, we will be encouraging more immigration. Because that's basically what we do in this country, is encourage immigration. It's kind of like our personal pastime is, oh, uh, is, um, bacon, trying to improve our healthcare, and encouraging as many immigrants to come to our country as possible. Those are our national pastimes. And how's the debate on both... Canny. Okay, a debate has broken up in the House House over the potential excavation and we decide. No, the government policy stands. I don't care about 
Okay, I'm not that liberal. We still need those, we still need those prestigious points, that way we can stay with the other great powers, because right now we aren't exactly doing the best in terms of building, because not many of our investors are investing in the right things, which is kind of annoying me right now. But, you know, what can you do except just scream and cry and say, I, I hate, I hate this stupid system of laissez-faire. I don't, I, you know, people, I will admit it right now, I don't see the point of laissez-faire in this game. I mean, I know it's, it's culturally what was happening about this time, you know, like you were supposed to like, people build up factories and you know, you're supposed to support them, but I mean, in my society, it really is not helping me out, and it's actually kind of hindering me, but, blast, I really don't care if they were eaten by cannibals. If I have to, seriously, this has happened twice, does anyone not do a anti-eat cannibal seminar? I mean, I'm already ranting about the stupid liberal system, now you got me ranting about the stupid cannibal system. The cannibal system, we really gotta fix, because honestly, we have been eaten three times, I think, or three times or twice by cannibalism, and you really gotta learn not to be eaten by cannibalisms. What you have to do, A, make sure you look at the culture beforehand and make sure they do not allow cannibalism. That's the first thing you do. Two, if they do human sacrifices, that's a clear sign you should not look at cannibalism and make sure they, they might, that culture might actually be doing cannibalism. That's another thing you have to realize. Four, you have a gun. They probably don't have anything. How the heck do you not just shoot them dead? I mean, it would, most likely they would probably a tribe of about five, about 50 to 60 people, which granted, I'll give you, could probably overwhelm you since I probably only gave you guys 20 to 30 men, but you guys had guns, and you were mostly, mostly all men. They were probably women and children in that village, and you guys could not do anything. How the heck did you guys get, uh, anyways. Okay, intervene immediately. We definitely don't want our population to drop, as especially since we have really good population. I am really proud of ourselves. We are doing good, and we are actually doing so good, I can actually decrease the taxes to now 50%, which is actually a good amount. We actually have not had a 50% in a little bit, but I wish we had a little bit before 45, because that would really help out my government, but, you know, what can you do? And... Apparently there are no productions, should I, eh, this is not bad, I mean we do have lots of lumber so I guess having a lumber factory is not bad. Having a stupid shipyard factory, that is just stupid, okay this is smart. And we have lots of our people doing stuff, Mexico still wants to lie to me, I'm still iffy about it but I'm not going to tell them downright no. Okay we have a new eternal crisis, uh, tensions, okay apparently it's something to do with Argentina so. Let's see, what is Argentina doing that is so wrong that I have to interfere in? Alright. Crisis, what's the crisis? It is the crisis for... Bolivia demands this from Argentina. Are you kidding me? This is even worth my time. And I guarantee no other great power will join in on this. This is, this is, this is honestly below our our um, expertise I mean honestly they're not no one's gonna join this I guarantee no one's even going to even give it a second thought and Peru I hopefully I hope you guys won't break up because I kind of need you guys to stay alive for a little bit so I can kind of spear you guys and make you guys part of my empire and as you can see no one else no one has decided to join this crisis yet every single great power is saying nope and Bolivia wow this is a good wait is that Bolivia's flag Wow, Bolivia, that is a really awesome flag. I I applaud you for your creativity. Um, but no, no one's going to choose this stupid... No one's ever going to choose this stupid war because it doesn't have anything to do with Europe or colonial concession. No one... It's just it's just simple facts. And um, I'm going to be, start building up my uh, national guards. So let's see. We need them in North America, really. So two guards. Okay. This is going to be a tiny little... Um, this is going to be the army that we're going to use mostly in Canada because I have, like I said, I have my colonial army over there so I'm going to actually move this Ah, dang No! Rebels! Ah, oh, shoot, there are a lot of rebels! Okay, so as I thought, the rebels finally showed their true colors and now it's time to mobilize because I actually don't have any troops over here yet to actually do anything, so we're going to mobilize um, luckily, oh shoot, they mobilized right in the head of the rebels, that was not a good move, but it's a good thing we don't have base one, 
mobilization. But no, no, we're getting more. We're getting more. Hopefully, my rebels. Yep. Okay, we're gonna beat them. <laughs> we beat the. We beat the main army of the rebels. So we just have to kill all these guys. Okay. Now they're running. We're gonna combine these guys. You're led by General Arthur Hastings, and you guys will instantly charge the rebels to make sure that we kill them. And I actually think we'll be done with this entire. No. Okay, you guys stay over here. Yeah, we... At some point, I'm really gonna have to fix... Okay, so we got a couple different... Okay, you guys just go hunt rebels. Okay, you guys could probably win. Okay, you guys go hunt rebels. Okay, there we go. So, apparently, we have a big... A little bit of a rebel problem. We're actually still doing okay in terms of militaristically. Like, I'm surprised about that. We're still doing really fine. And we have a little bit of our new army over here being made. No, this is just a peasant. This is just a peasant army. It's still going, but I'm just gonna send to go kill off more rebels. Yeah, the rebels are dead, basically. We really don't need to have our people out there, but it's... <laughs> it's fun to see rebels die like this. I mean, they think... I, my other question is, why would you guys even rebel? I'm not even... Like, legitly, I have one of the best governments in the world, and you guys want to do what with the government? Change it to something? What? I don't know. I sometimes again that system is just really wonky and I wish you know this is that's probably the weakest part of this game, if I must be honest with you, is that rebel system. The rebel system is terrible. Like it makes absolutely really no sense. And cause it's like you guys wanna Okay, I'm like the most freest government ever, but you guys want me to switch to the most oppressive government fascism. So for what? I mean, we have a good economy going, we have a good system going, why you want to fix the fascism? Oh, because that's what the system tells us to do. No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense, and I'm just going off the ball today. Like, today I'm just like, I don't really care, and I don't want to do social science yet. Because I don't, don't consider that important yet. Okay, come on, come on, you stupid guys. Okay, you guys are going to win, good. I was about to say, okay, we got some more help. Charge, men! Two arms! Two arms! Okay. Okay, so that's they're gonna combine these guys that way they're a little bit tougher. You guys are still gonna go hunt rebels. Yeah, we should get to this guy before he finishes up. So exploding maple and creek. Cool. I guess so the Toms. Uh Leton or the news of the world really. Because this newspaper is terrible compared to Leton. And now we have just a lot of like deployed guys that aren't really doing anything because we don't really need them to so what I'm gonna do is demobilize we no longer need to call in the Canadian National Guard alright and then we have you guys over here kind of our new military so I'm gonna move you guys over here and yeah I think we just stabilized just stabilized our empire yeah these guys are gonna take a little bit to get over there because they chose the worst route ever and did not follow my nice transcontinental railroad which I would highly suggest in the future you guys follow because it's pretty dang nice. Okay, Argentina needs more influence because we want to make sure the Argentinians are in our influence. And make sure they do not have any more rebellions because we will need to keep them stable so that we can keep in power. Okay, the Santo Fi Really? I'm not even going after Africa. I've already said that. Like, Africa is not even on my big to-do list. It's just... No. No. Okay. And here's all my rest of my made men. I'm going to put them all right here. Maybe I'll have like two different armies. This will be my tiny little Canadian National Guard army over here. And then I'll have my other army over there. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. So we have our Chinese. You know what? Let's get an alliance with, Jap with the Japanese. Because the Japanese are actually seeming like they would actually be a good alliance. Really? Really? You gotta be kidding me. See, I, I, I have a feeling that this game has lots of problems, and I won't deny that. It's still probably my favorite Paradox game, but dang, I really wish they would have ironed this thing out. Like, cause, I mean, this could have been so much more. This could have been like, psh, as good as Crusaders Kings to by Jinduism. Cause I don't remember if we're very pacifist. No, we are still very warlike. We just encourage immigration and do stuff like that. Um, okay. So, ah, uh, shoot. What were we? Okay, so we want the liberal party. So we, we support pluralism. Okay. 
Japan. Seems like we're gonna have to increase our relationships with Japan before they'll actually accept an alliance with us. And I'm recording. Um. Oh my goodness. This is the gods. This is the gods. We have many things to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have some factories being made. This is. This is starting to turn out to be a very good let's play. No, we endorse the V-Trade in this country. Because apparently, it's the best. It's the best. Okay. Um, our army's over here doing fine. Do we have these built yet? We almost have our first level forts over here built. Which means, once these are a little bit higher level, like probably two or three, we could probably start fighting against China. But it takes so long for them to actually do this. And we want to make sure we start beating up China before. Yagrat, that's good. That's good, it's finally coming territory. Okay, and we got some Curse of the Pharaohs, I kind of expected that. And I guess, hmm, a non no. I do not want to switch that, because I want Man doing so we can keep the most powerful party in power. Because that's why I realized what happened to my French Let's Plays, that I gave the people too much power. And they kind of abused it, majorly. So, in this Let's Play, we don't do that. And I have a lot of people that are not being made. Uh, I'm seriously hating my capitalists for not supporting, you know, I, uh, okay. That is a good way to end the episode today, everyone. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.